so hello guys welcome to that new video this time we're gonna talk about the offensive end um how to how to score a goal i mean how to score so um last time we talked we talked about uh the defensive end which was uh just simple uh it's all about, it was all about reaction more you are reactive to to the to the opponent and better you will you will defend and this time it's about the offensive one so this time you got the ball okay you you're leading the way you got the ball and your job is to score okay so you got four positions for that you can have six but normally you got three or four positions okay um wait so in the eight, eight game you got three attack positions okay the left wing the cf the center forward the left wing the center forward and the right wing okay those positions are for attack the 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 role for the left wing is to be on the left side okay his job is when he gets the ball his job is to dribble i cannot go there wait maybe i can his job is to dribble his opponent and just you know he can try to, to cut inside or he can try to cross for the CF for the right wing to, to score with the header or with a, a volley okay I, I will give you a simple rule when you are attacking if you are in a 1v1 situation if you are CF, CM or winger you can dribble okay you can dribble in when it's 1v1 the, as I said in the defensive side, the, the offensive will always be better than the defense, you know. Offense wins over defense, as I ever said. So, you know, one in one situation, we'll be always the winner. Mostly if you are a D3 player and your opponent is a D3 player, okay. So, when you are alone on your side against your opponent who is alone against you, you can dribble in, okay? But if it's 1v2, you need to pass the ball, okay? You need to pass the ball. You cannot dribble. You're not allowed to dribble. You will lose the ball. You got like 75% to, or maybe 80% to, to, to lose the ball. So it's better for you to pass. So when you are winger, it, it, it doesn't depend if you are left side or left winger or right winger is the same thing just not the same side you know so your job for as a winger is to dribble and try to score or normally you will have to, to cross or to make a pass if you can go inside of the box so <coughs> for the cf is the hardest position in attack because you got a lot of roles, I mean, a lot of things to do as a, as a centre forward. Okay, your job is to take the ball, pass it to the wingers if they are open, or just try to force your way to score by yourself, okay? It's simple as that, okay? It's all you have to do. You, you, you the guy who is the scorer of the team, if you're CF. So your job will be just to score. But how to score? As I said, you can pass to wingers. The winger will try to cross. And you. Nah, it doesn't work. And you. Your job will be to do a header or a volley. If the guy crosses to you, okay? He does good cross. That's a good cross. It's just a bit slow, but good cross. And your job, do a header, okay? Or do a volley. Like this. You know, it's just as simple as that. As it is so so try to work on that on the headers 
because it's very useful in this game. The the most goals that we see in iOS is the is the header. When you do a header, it's very it's very critical, you know. Mostly when it's close to the goals. Okay, if you if you are winger, try to to make the cross close to the goal. Okay, very close to the goal. Okay, try to make it like in this area. Okay, all this area. You can make it there. You can make it there. You can make it everywhere you want, but it would be very good if you do this in the, this close area. <laughs> so the CF always, uh, always be close to this close to this area. Okay. So you receive a ball. It's a good cross, <coughs> and you shoot. You just do the header. Okay. Easy. Or you can just shoot, okay? You can do a long, a long shot. <laughs> I don't mind. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, sick. Um, but it will not work. It will work on Div Three, Division Three, because the goalkeepers are very bad on Div Division Three. But it will not on Division Two and Division One because the goalkeepers are very good. Um, more the ball is far from the goals. And less you will score, okay? Less you have percentage to score. Okay, it's easy to shoot. Uh, if you don't know how, why do I score always? If I'm doing like this, check out my 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 uh, press my my last video tutorial video about shooting, about dribbling also. If you think, oh my god, how those dribble like this? Uh, it's because I got zero ping because it's my local server. I just, I just going to, to uh, create server and I just go to Ape Ape Arena. Just wait. Up, 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 up. So it's easy as it is, but you got also the, the CM sometimes with uh, we can uh, help the attack. His job for the CM in, a, in the offensive end is to to be a support. You know, to be you know the support in League of Legends is the same for the CM. Sometimes he can be very active on the offensive end, but his job will be to pass the ball, okay, to pass the ball to the wingers or to the CF to please open. But normally it will be always passing to the wingers, okay? You can do long balls, wait, like this, or like this. Or you can dribble, you see your CF open, you pass to him, you make a long ball to the CF, or you can just go by yourself. You can do that and try to score as a CM, but always look at your stamina as a CM. It's really important when you're playing CM. Okay. Oh, it's been it's been only not even ten minutes. Oh, that that may be my <laughs> that may be my my only video that I'm not making ten minutes. I think I can say more things about that. Um, <coughs> as I said about the one v one situation, you can dribble it one v one, but not it's one v two or one v three. Uh, you need to pass to the wingers so for them to cross the ball and for making a header for the CF for the CM. About the corners, uh, it's simple as it is. If you're a new player, train the hard on, on the on the corn on the corners. Okay, you do like that, and you just try to to train with the corner. Okay, I wish you, I recommend you to to not make it cool. Because if you watched about my shooting tutorial, you know that if you want to cure the ball, you need to move to the to the left. If you want to cure it to the left, or you need to move to the right <laughs> if you want it to, to be cured to the right. And it's the same with the corners. <coughs> but if you want a corner to be effective, most of the time you need to make it straight, just like that. So just don't move, just go forward and make that. Make the, the cross. And that's it for the corners. <laughs> So, I got nothing to say about the offense even. I mean, I mean, always, offense always wins about, uh, over defense, but sometimes you will be stressed. Sometimes you will be... It will be very difficult for you to score. 
but you need to work on that. It's not, it's not like you wake up one day and oh my god, you become just the, the, the best, the best offensive player in this game. No, you need to pro, you need to work on that. You need to work, you need to practice. You know, you go in the training server, and after you work on your dribbling, you work on your shooting, you work on your passing. There are a lot of practice that you can make uh, as a as a dribble. Okay, I should make maybe put that in the dribbling video, but uh, I, I I reserve that to an advanced thing. You know, just you dribble like this. If you wanna be a good dribble, dribble like this. Or you dribble like this. Easy. You know, it's not that hard. Um, what can I say? The more you just need to work. I mean, not like it's really hard to score. Mostly when you are D3. I mean, if you are practicing a lot and you are against the D3 team, you will never, never lose. You will always win your your situations, your actions, your attempts. You know, just uh, simple as it is. You just need to shoot very greatly. And dribble very great if your CF, a good CF and good wiggles can make the team score a lot. You also need to watch the the best teams in the game if you wanna, if you know if you wanna know how to to be a good player, because you learn by the best to be one of the best. Uh, you can code that, <laughs> you can code that, but that's simple. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video, that that that, cool, that that very cold video. But it's for you to understand how to be a good offensive player. It's not all about reaction as defensive because you are leading the ball. So if you wanna go straight, straight, the defender will not know that you will go straight. So you can have an advantage over that. And it's what I mean when all offense win, wins always about over defense. Because if you want to to make Fakes like that, very, very fast. You can make it, and the defender will never know unless he knows you. He will never know if you, if you're faking him or not. So it's very, it's very easy for you to, to beat the defender. So you need to work on that. And it's same with the shooting. Okay. If you wanna win against a goalkeeper in a one v one situation, <laughs> <coughs> if you wanna win, by the way, against a goalkeeper. You know, one v one situation. All you have to do is simple. Okay, you're about to to score. It's a one v one situation against the goalkeeper. The defender is just beaten. Go there, and you try to advance the more the most possible. If you get stunned, of course. If you don't get stunned, just shoot. Okay, just shoot. If the go if you see, you you need to watch the goalkeeper. Okay, if the goalkeeper is coming to you, you lob. Don't 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 ever think. Just lob. Okay, just. Look up, mouse two. You shoot a bit with the yellow charge. You look at my yellow charge. I do like that when I lob. It's easy. Just do like that, and it goes in. If the goalkeeper is not coming to you, advance, advance, always advance. Go forward, go forward, go forward. And after you shoot, the the most the closest you are, the the the, the most you can score. Okay, the most percentage you can you can have to score. So if you are like in box, you have like 90 percent of the time you can you, you will score if you shoot in box. Okay. If you shoot out box, you will have 65, 65%, 65 in D3, I say. Because in D1, if you're shooting out box, you will have 40. And if you shoot in box, you will have like 75 or 80 percent. And it depends because if you are like that, you will have 100% of scoring if you just shoot, <laughs> you know. So if you want to score, always shoot in box. Okay, it's simple. Also, I I forgot to mention that the goalkeeper is passing you the ball like that. He's passing a he's passing a very long ball. Your job will be to control it, of course. Uh, it's simple. Just, okay, look at look down. You can jump if you want, and you control the ball. But you can do something really great that I want you to work on that. 
point. Like that. Normally, you just control like this, you know, just in front of you. If your, your, your opponent is not on you, you're just controlling the ball like that, in front of you, just forward to you. But you can make, if I can do that, you can make, okay. you can make, you can turn back, okay? Looking at that, oh, I'm, run, I'm turning back and I'm already going to the attack. It's a very good control that you can focus on that. It's very hard to do it, but when you achieve to, to, ex, to be an expert of, on this controlling, you will be a very good player, I can, I can tell you that. And you will, you, will, you, you will pass every time you're open because he never knows about that. So guys, I'm going to let you there about the offense event. So it's sad that I'm alone to do that because I, I, I will show you how to score against some players, but I'm alone for that video, so I'm sorry about that. I hope you understood all what I mean for you to understand about the offensive lens. But yeah, I just want you to progress and that's why you need to, to work on that asset and work on the offensive end to be a good offensive player. So guys, um, thank you for watching. I hope you will uh, work every day if you can. But you're not obligated to play every day. Just obligated to work on your offensive and that's it for you if you want to be uh, in a good team. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.